Welcome to the base that at the time of recording I've not named, and we'll give little time doing so. It's a solo duo half wall, not race foundation, stability bunker base. It's a 23 minimum rocket raid cost, and that's coming through from the sides. The door raid cost, the most likely raid path, is much higher. You want to see more? Let's take a tour. So, coming through one of the two entrances, you come to a flurry of garage doors and some of the most overpriced Christmas lights you'll ever see. Here, I've put two mixing tables because I raid a lot. Of course, you can deck it out as you wish. Coming through these garage doors, we come to the entrance at the opposite side of the base. And here to the right of me, you've got another garage door with a locker in front of it and a ladder hatch going up to the roof. The box is here to get better angles when shooting door campers or whoever you're shooting at. Uh, at night time, make sure you put windows on these so you don't get soft sided. We've got two entrances up to your roof. Here you can see a locker and two spawn points. Jumping up here is one of two ways to get on top of your roof. I did mess around by putting a roof with roof triangles and such forth on it, but I really didn't think it added anything to the base. A few more peaks here where you've got natural height. These type of peaks are great for throwing grenades out at people hanging around your base. So that's the roof, we're going to go back into the base now and down to the bunker. So this is a bit of a unusual bunker, you don't see it a great deal. Here you've got a locker behind it and some electric furnaces. We'll get to that room in a second. To put the bunker up, wall there, half wall, triangle above it and then just upgrade it and there you go, there's your bunker done. And to open the bunker, because this half wall will be twig, you just destroy it and that's your bunker open again. So it's pretty straightforward. So here I've just made a very standard two by one room, just got your tier three boxes, sleeping bags. Make sure you've got your sleeping bags this side of the bunker before you put your bunker up. And here is the cost of the upkeep. Hopefully you're still with me. If you are, let's get into the build. It's a very simple build, so I won't be as thorough as usually I'm explaining everything. Um, if you get like three quarters away through the video and think, right, I've got it, you know, no problem. Just don't forget the last bit of honeycomb because it's really important to the raid cost. So here, obviously a basic two, two by two with no airlock. Make sure that the TC is perfectly placed because you're going to put a shelf in there. I was actually worried I didn't do it right there. Right here, just pop the shelf down. Like so. And now we start the part of the bunker. Make sure you've got enough materials for all of this. You need to wall yourself in like that. And then we do the bunker like this. Showing you. Okay. 
half wall, half wall, half wall on top, and half wall, half wall. And then you want to delete all the bottom walls. Make sure these are all facing hard side inwards. And for now, upgrade them to sheet metal because you probably won't have enough HQM. Now here, there's various ways to do the build up. You can have um, you can have a furnace jump up, but it's a, it can be a bit tricky if you don't place it right. So a ladder will be preferable, and obviously a ladder hatch would be perfect. But a furnace will do for now. Now we go ahead and put a door on here. And the base should look like this. I'm now just going to go upgrade everything just for the video's sake. So next on the agenda, <laughs> I didn't upgrade everything obviously. Next on the agenda is the honeycomb. The honeycomb is very, very straightforward. It's every piece of every triangle you can fit in there. I'll just show you. There we go, and we'll quickly uh, slap this honeycomb down. And put roofs on them, or floors as the case may be. So it should look like this now. Then we come to the sides here, because this is where your doors will go. We'll put one extra bit down. Maybe get, get out there. So you put one door there and one door there. That's your entrance and your exit of your base. And then you're going to wall yourself in. So your jump up's going to go just there, your triangle ladder hatch. And you can block that off, or as I did in the intro, I had a, um, vent a vending machine. A, um, well, you could have a vending machine behind it if you really wanted, uh, a locker behind it. You put wall frames all in here. You see the wall frame that I missed in the intro. These will obviously all be garage doors. And here, just wall it all in. And that'll all need to be sheet metal. So make sure the doors are facing away from the ladder hatch. There you go, very straightforward. I'm 
It doesn't matter which way the doors go here. Obviously, you'll be upgrading as you go. I don't know, you know what stage you'll be at now and everything like that. So, now let's put the roof on. We're going to start off by putting half walls down here. So, this is like protection from a uh, top down raid, basically. Now, you can put these low walls down, but nobody's going to go through there. It's really not worth the cost, the upkeep cost of having anything there. Nobody's blowing through here. So look like that now. I'll do this now because I always forget to um, do this till last. Because obviously I'm in fly mode, so I don't need to jump up. And there you go, there's your jump ups. You can do this in uh, any order you like, it makes absolutely no difference. I'm just slowing down a bit here just because um, this one's it just it's just a tad more complicated than the rest of the base just see what I'm doing then exactly the same on both sides. This is where you have your locker, but put your locker in first because you know you know it's just gonna to be too much of a nightmare to fit the locker in if you put the windows down first. do put shotgun traps underneath these like I did in the intro don't jump down there because you can get stuck or at least I did it's rust would have been a glitch I don't know there's a bit of extra protection here with more garage doors there's no need to upgrade any of this to metal or anything like that. I 
enough to to where your bags will go. Yeah, make sure there's a roof on there. So on this final bit of honeycomb here, make sure that they are metal because you won't be able to get back to them. And these two triangles are metal as well. We'll metal the whole bottom half of the base anyway. So now, the base itself is actually done and it's all just finishing touches. Like putting your windows in um, and solar panel on. So I'll just finish up quickly here and I will do a quick edit and upgrade as well. And this is what it should be looking like. Still forgot to put the solar panel on. Oh my God, it's the hardest thing in the whole, the whole build, look. Okay, that's your base. Thank you very much for watching.